Alright, so on this episode of How to Be a Passive Aggressive Fuckboy, we're going to be looking at an unhelpful tutorial of how to skip the 30 second cutscene on Ryder without even blowing his car up. Of course, doing this is much slower than doing the mission with a gun, but this is kind of... The purpose of this is if you don't have a gun, which there is another strat that you can use if you don't have a gun, which is also just as slow probably. But I just want to show you guys that you can actually skip the 30 second cutscene on Ryder without even blowing his car up. It has its fair share of issues, but it can be done. As we'll get into when we start the next mission, which is Ryder of course. Of course, there's one other thing you can do in this situation. You can grab a gun from the corner over there and blow his car up with that, which I would highly not recommend, but I wouldn't recommend really... I wouldn't really recommend even doing either of these strats as it's just the first three minutes of the game. And you might as well just reset at that point. So there you go, you can kill Ryder without even blowing his car up. But as I said, it has its fair share of problems. Um, the only real major problem being, because everything else is about the same, um, being that you don't have a gun still. So once you get to, let's say, cleaning the hood, you still don't have a gun. And you kind of need a gun to kill people with on that mission. So... What you'd have to do at this point is you would still need a gun, so you'd have to figure that out. Of course, you could kill this guy at the pizza shop and take his shotgun, but then you have a really high chance of killing Ryder because of the shotgun spread, so that's not really a good idea. <clears throat> so the next best uh, thing that you can do, really, is to basically kill a cop or a homie or something like that, just like you would normally do. And that is how you would uh, you'd solve that issue, I guess. Of course it would be much slower and obviously you might as well just reset if it comes down to it, but that wasn't the point of this video. The point of this video was to show that you don't actually have to kill Ryder to skip this cutscene. You can actually kill or no, you don't have to blow his car up to skip this cutscene. You can actually kill him by running him over. So yeah. Hopefully you guys learned something from this uh, series of how to be a passive aggressive fuck. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out. Hope you guys enjoy. But, uh, yeah, we can show you how to do that. And this is really weird. Ryder's uh, body is invisible. Never seen that happen before. Huh. It's cool, I guess.